Hey, what's up everybody? You're joining me, Carvel, for a brand new edition of Carvel's Closet, where in this I talk to you very, very quickly about a film I'm going to recommend you go and check out, and this week will be no different. Now, the movie I'm recommending for everyone to go and check out this week is the 1990s comedy Kingpin. Now, for those of you who have never heard of this film, I'm going to quickly tell you about it, and then tell you some of the actors who are in it, and then I'll give you my rating. So, pretty much, the story of Kingpin is, is about a amateur bowler who's about to try and make it in the big time as a professional, and he goes out and competes in a competition, and wins a big tournament. He's really happy, really successful, but there is a rival bowler who is the big pro who doesn't take too kindly to this one. So he kind of gets a little bit of revenge on him and kind of ruins his career for him. Fast forward 20 years and he's just, he's really down on his luck. Nothing's really going well for him. But then he meets a young Amish fella who is, he spots in a bowling alley and he can hear how he's playing and thinks, hmm, this is a potential protege. I'm going to take this guy on. I'm going to teach him the ropes. And yet from there, hijinks ensue. And it is just a really, really great comedy. And again, it is another bowling film, and I love bowling. Like, it's one of my favourite kind of sports to go out and play, because it's just a lot of fun. So, um, that's the basic premise of it. I don't want to give anything away, but some of the actors you're going to notice in this one. So, the main character in this is Woody Harrelson. He's absolutely brilliant in this. He's, again, he is our sort of hero who's just fallen from grace. He's quite famous for roles like he's been in Zombieland, is one of his most recent films he's been in, which everyone loved him in. And, of course, in the Hunger Games series. Um, our main antagonist for this film is the acting legend Bill Murray. And, yeah, in this, he is a villain and he fits it so well. Bill Murray is a perfect villain and for this film it is just standout gold what he does. Um, obviously most people remember Bill Murray for his appearance in films like Ghostbusters, Groundhog Day and yeah. I think that's enough to name there. And one last actor I'm going to talk about is Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid plays the Amish fella in this one, and he is so fucking good in this role. Um, most people remember Randy Quaid for his role as the drunken pilot in Independence Day, which, again, he played that role so really, really well in that, and he is so funny in this one. Now, the reason I'm recommending this movie to everyone is because, for me, it is just a brilliant, dark comedy that came out in the 90s. It is very dated when you watch it now, but it just adds to how funny it is. If you like films, sort of like we talked about The Big Lebowski before, and you like films like sort of like Dumb and Dumber, then this is definitely going to be a film that's going to interest you, and I would definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Um, some key points I'm going to mention in this one. One massive montage scene that takes place in this film which is so good it's all about distracting other bowlers and some of the ways that they will distract them are just so damn funny without giving too much away there's a scene with um frozen nipples there is a scene involving sheep and oh there's just there's just so many random things in there that you have to go and check it out so on the carpe dm rating scheme of one little fishy being absolutely tosh and five little fishies being an absolute classic this one is up there this is a five out of five yeah five out of five this is an absolute classic i think everyone is going to love it and you'd all definitely 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 go and check it out as soon as you can but what do you guys think have any of you seen this movie before will you go and check it out from my rating or are you just going to ignore this one because you don't like bowling let me know what you guys think drop me a comment down below and yeah there's nothing more I can say about it. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing to the Carpe DM page. And until next time, I've been Carvel. This has been Carvel's Closet. I'll speak to you again soon.